I'd like to welcome you all to Q City World, and today we'll be talking about Andre Ward. Might be. I think he wanna. Uh, I don't know. I I might be coming back tomorrow. Uh, I am getting ready, looking ass boy. So your boy Andre Ward tweeted out yesterday. He said, uh, Yeah, weighed in last night at 199. All muscle. I promise. I've been working. Then he come out with a second tweet. You know what I mean? He posted up saying, we working on something special. You know what I mean? So basically, what he's saying is, he's coming back. At the beginning of the motherfucking day. At the beginning of the motherfucking day. All right, I knew he was coming back anyway. The boy was only 33 years old when he retired. He ain't did shit. You feel me? He just went in some shit with his promoter. His promoter fucked around and died. Got out of that situation. Came back and fought three fights, four fights, because he fought Kovalev twice. I was like, man, and then he was talking in this retirement speech, talking about all the hard work and his body, putting his body through all this shit. I'm like, Andre Ward, you don't be taking the ass beating. You got good defense. I mean, what the fuck is you talking about? You know what I mean? I already figured it out. I was like, what it is is his contract with Rock Nation was up. Now it's time for him to renegotiate. And I don't think he got offered the money that he wanted. So he had to retire and come back just to make his name worth a little bit more money. That's how I feel. But anyway, the boy was talking all that heavyweight shit before he retired. And it looks like he's gonna fight a heavyweight when he come back, bro. He want Tony Bell you or some shit. You know what I mean? But at the end of the day, the reason he ain't gonna fight that cruiserweight it's because ain't no motherfucking work that cruiserweight. You feel me? He want to do like Roy Jones. Come through this bitch and win the title at heavyweight. You go from the 167 all the way to heavyweight, bro. And beat. You say you want to fight Anthony Joshua? What? The fuck you laughing at, B? <laughs> you, man. <laughs> Funny, man. You a hustling motherfucker, man. For real, baby. <laughs> fucking killing me, man. You know me, baby. You might better make that fight in a couple of years. You can fight till you're 37. You got a good enough defense where you ain't been just getting your ass beat. You ain't been taking no real beatings and shit. I mean, you say you go through a lot of shit in training, but uh, I don't know, man. I mean, what you trying to say? You fight harder competition in training than you do in the ring? Because you be whooping the hell out of everybody I've ever seen you get in the ring with. I mean, all I know is, man, you're coming back, man. Ain't shit else out there to do, man. That's my gift in life, man. To come in here and whoop somebody's ass, man. That's all, that's all you've been doing all your life. That's what you used to doing, man. And it's hard to retire, man. It's hard to see Earl Spence go out there and beat a nigga ass. And you sitting at the crib like, damn, I ain't got shit to do. We're going on vacation. I'm tired of motherfucking vacations. All the greats come back. Michael Jordan came back. Floyd Mayweather came back. Magic Johnson had HIV and he still tried to come back. You be feeling like one of the ball playing niggas, you know, like Bird or Magic or something. I mean, if you don't go out with an injury, if you don't go out, oh, it's hard for you to retire, man. I mean, Sugar Ray came back, bro. I mean, who the fuck you know retired? and didn't come back that was on top when they retired. You could say Kobe Bryant didn't come back, but shit, uh, Kobe Bryant suffered uh, Achilles injury. He played till he couldn't play no more. He Floyd was fucking 38, almost 39 years old when he fucking retired, you feel me? I mean, you can, it's time to re quit when you get fucking old or you don't get knocked out the ring like that boy Bernard Hopkins. But when you are young, what the fuck is you gonna retire for? You know what nigga got though? You feel me? Ain't no point. You gonna end up coming back anyway. Just like Jordan did. Nigga did that shit with the Bulls. Three peated two times on the third repeat. Chicago Bulls was, they ain't wanna pay that man right or something. That man had to leave Chicago. And the whole team broke up. So he retired. He was like, what the fuck I'm gonna do? Go to another team and rebuild. You know what I mean? So he retired. Came back for the Wizards. They always come back, bro. I mean, especially like Jordan going off with the fadeaway against Utah. After he retired, that man probably, you know what I mean, a year ago by that man, like, man, hold on, man. 
I still got it in me, man. I could have I could have won three more back. I could have broke records, man. I should have kept playing. I can solve out here. I can solve out here. You know what I mean? Feeling like that, then fuck around and come back and play for the Wizards. You know what I mean? The night that Andre Ward beat Kovalev, man, all the attention he got, man. Pound for pound number one, people talking about him. Now he retired and everybody talking about other fighters now. Forgetting about him. So he know he gotta come back and go out with a bang. And fighting in the heavyweight division would be a major bang, you know what I mean? Because I couldn't imagine this before fighting in the heavyweight division. You feel me? So if he go up in there and do his thing in the heavyweight division, shout out to Andre Ward. He get a lot of respect from me, you know what I mean? I don't know what he'd get from y'all. You might as well get all you can get, you feel me? At least till you start looking like you slow, you just went in there and did a Dominant performance against somebody they called the crusher. You made him look like the buster. The blow pop sucker. You know what I mean? We know you're coming back, so don't waste no time, man. Come back as young as you can. You're 33, about to be 34. You can fight for at least four more years. Early welcome. This is the first channel to welcome Andre Ward back. He's coming back. I'm willing to bet money that he'll be back 2018. Money on the wood, money all good. I mean, what you want to bet? The man coming back, man. He addicted to this, man. You feel me? He coming back, man. You feel me? Don't forget to subscribe, though. I love the game. You feel like one of them ball playing niggas, you know me. The bird magic or something.